Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. We are going to do a read for the first half of February 2022, okay? This will be a love read, uh, so if you are looking for career, money, or finance or a general monthly read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video. So let's hop in. Let's uh, take a look at what messages are coming out for you and what's going to be most important <laughs> for you to be aware of uh, within the first half of February 2022, alright? Do check out your moon rising and your Venus signs. Uh, because that can give you even more information regarding your situation, all right? So what needs to come out for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Let's take a look as it pertains to love. The star card could be dealing with an Aquarius, all right? It's coming out here. Uh, I get the nine of swords, all right? And uh, then I get the five of swords. There's been some sort of obstacle as it pertains perhaps to an air sign, perhaps an Aquarius, uh, I get a lot of, you know, anxiousness. This is uh, anxiety, depression, or some sort of, uh, you know, sadness here that I feel here. And it's there's some sort of conflict uh, relating to perhaps an Aquarius or relating it to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, because I get the star card and that usually represents that. It could be, you know, someone that you, uh, that might have air in their chart, but this is a star card. So I feel that there could be some sort of anxiety or conflict with, an Aquarius uh, around you. Uh, could, again, this could be a loved one. Uh, it doesn't just have to be a romantic love. It could be having to do with family and that type of thing too. So keep that in mind. But this comes coming out like right like that. Uh, so very interesting. Let's take a look at what numerology has to say here. There's some sort of obstacle that leads to anxiety uh, as it pertains to um, uh, you know an Aquarius here that I see coming through here. Now you might have Aquarius in your chart, so you might be experiencing some sort of anxiety and some conflict within your life most recently. What does numerology have to say for you, uh, Capricorn? Let's take a look. What do we get here? Perseverance. This is perseverance in terms of matters of the heart. So this is, you know, uh, this has to do with the heart chakra, okay? So uh, for some of you, this is, you know, this is about, you know, some sort of stability, okay? Um, perseverance in matters of the heart. Um, this is about strength to make it through or to, uh, you know, to handle challenges head on, you know, in terms of the situation and have courage, faith and have perseverance that all will be well in this situation. You know, this does have to do with the heart chakra. Okay. So you're just being asked to really, uh, have mental resilience and stability regarding the situation is what it wants to remind you of. Okay. Um, especially when I see this card. So it could be that maybe negative thoughts or beliefs are, are currently um, right now kind of making it you know, kind of playing out. And this is a, this is about really operating and developing that perseverance and that, that, that be able to overcome any sort of situation. Okay. So being able to overcome any sort of uh, um, a negative mindset and, and to work on that. So if you guys need help with that, uh, what can really help kind of springboard that and assist you with that process, uh, hence beyond the read in my description box below or rapid change session, uh, do check that out. Let's take a look at what the wellness cards have to say for you here. So it could be some sort of mindset of some sort that's coming into play Capricorn is what I feel here. Uh, mayhem. Yeah. It's got, you know what this is so interesting. It's like, um, your, your, your manifestation is happening. Here's the positive thing. Uh, but whatever's happening currently is identifying some sort of current wound that is within you that needs some sort of healing. You know, because of this, I'm going to pull a shadow card. I want to see what is in the shadows that might want to come up. Uh, there is a, you know, you're going through a, a spiritual growth. Okay. There is a huge spiritual growth uh, process that's happening right now and it, it's happening in your life and it's whatever is, is happening. There's a current issue. This, this conflict has to do with some sort of past wound. It might have to do with the, you know, past, uh, you know, upbringing, you know, and, uh, that you've taken on. Um, you know, a certain template of others who may have raised you. And uh, now you're, you're, it's, it's, it's not, it's not working for you. Let's, what is this uh, for cancer? What is uh, the conflict that is going on? The anxiety that's happening? What does this pertain to uh, from the shadow side? Um, what seems to be wanting you to come through? What do we get? Ecocentric. Not everyone shares the same perspective as you listen to others and you might learn something new. So this is about dropping the ego uh, Capricorn and being listening to others and you both learning from each other. Okay. 
Uh, we're not all the same, right? You know, it, we're all different, you know, people and uh, with different perspectives, different points of view. So it's it, this is really talking about, you know, dropping the ego. Uh, and sometimes it could be something just like this, you know, that, that needs to be revisited. Um, so that's what I feel it's happening. Now, in terms of love, let's take a look at what the uh, uh, love oracle has to say where you're at right now. Now, this may resonate with some of you, okay? Let's take a look. What do we get here? Wow. This probably is exactly what it is. Okay, so it's a 68 card. So this talks about dropping. It says drop into, drop into your heart. So... Wow. Okay. So this is an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, kind of see the pearl, the gem within the situation when you let the ego go and you drop into your heart. Okay. It's going to ground you and it's going to soothe your heart. The green is the heart chakra. The red is the root chakra. Uh, uh, the first chakra where all the chakras stack upon. So I feel that, you know, it says deep into your heart. Uh, and, and what I like about this, oh, it's a 68 card. Uh, eight, 14, five, reduced is a five. Okay. So it's, it's a five card obstacles in terms of obstacles drop into the heart. You can kind of find the gem of the situation. Okay. So this is saying, uh, this is, this is very key because this is an opportunity to express yourself and to, again, it, it gets back into different perspectives and sharing perspectives. So, uh, that's what's coming into play. Interesting. So it just wants you to, you know, focus on the pearl of the situation, um, because there's some sort of gem that can come, that be, can, can become of this. Um, but yeah, it's, it definitely wants you to, uh, drop within your heart and to, uh, you know, uh, uh you know, share different perspectives of the situation. And I think it's going to help you a lot. Okay. So yeah, that's what I see that's coming through here. Very interesting. Yeah, I haven't, I don't usually get to see this often, but that's what I see coming through here. Interesting. So um, let's take a look at this other person real quick. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, what do we have coming up for this other person? Two of swords. A decision needs to be made on this person's side. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. Uh, the world card. Uh, so they're, they're making the decision as it pertains to their world, as it pertains to some sort of completion. Uh, you know, or some sort of travel. You might be hear hear a message from them. Um, you know, in terms of their situation, they get the Page of Wands. Uh, the pages are, are about messages, and this is about you know some sort of a discovery that they've made about themselves. So maybe that you've had some sort of conversation or will, but there's some sort of decision that changes their world, uh, and um, you know they've come to discover something. They've uh, they they've actually discovered something. Uh, in terms of making some sort of, uh, um, you know, enthusiastic discovery that they might share with you. It, it's as it pertains to their world, but they had to make some sort of decision. Okay. So in the process of doing that right now, um, is what I feel here. Uh, anything else that wants to come through for this other person? What do we get? Yeah, they're learning how to respond versus react in terms of the situation. So rather than trigger, you know, um, be triggered by an old trauma, they're learning how to control their emotions a lot better. This is what's coming out. Why do I get more family that's coming on this side? It could be, guys, but you're going to know how this resonates with you. Uh, so they are changing their thought patterns to make changes just as you are doing the same. Um, you know, within, within your, just maybe perhaps in a different way. So they're learning to really respond in terms of conversations rather than react and putting in a lot more new beneficial thought patterns in play. Uh, anything else that's coming through here? Relationship change. Wow. Maybe that changes the relationship because you both learn how to do that, uh, Capricorn. That uh, this is a relationship change could be a new relationship. Uh, this could be uh, a friend can become a lover. A lover can become a friend. Uh, this could be family relationship, you know, up leveling. Uh, you know, there is some sort of shift. Uh, it could be letting go of someone. Um, you know, it could be all of these things. So keep that in mind. Um, but it is, uh, it is, you know, when you when you be able to communicate and when you can respond. Um, and have a conversation and, 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 and share each other, you know, and, and be able to listen to each other's perspective, even though you might not always share the same perspective. That's going to be really key. That's grow. That's really key. Um, what is, uh, the love card that might want to come out for this person? Ooh, 
So for some of you in the love connection, there is a positive change when there is some sort of communication that the egos drop and uh, learning to respond versus reacting. Um, what do we get on this person's side? Ah, oh, interesting. God speaks. So really, this could be, you know, uh, anything, you know, whatever source is, but um, God speaks. It's kind of like there is some sort of message that is coming through the pike, I feel. And there's some sort of download that this person might be getting. Um, yeah, this is about uh, this is about a need to communicate. All right. A need to uh, uh, to receive some sort of download that's coming through here. So I think that it's an opportunity um, for this person to get guidance. Um, I don't know. Mm. They are being like, like, it's like almost like the source is speaking to them and giving them the information that they need in order to heal, to overcome what it is that they need to overcome. There's some sort of beautiful insight that is coming from above. Uh, and it is, uh, you know, if like, if you feel, if this person feels they're being held back for some reason, this is just the divine holding them back. Um, so everything can unfold in perfect timing. <laughs> it's what's happening guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, mm. you know, if, if, if there's any struggle or challenge, it's almost like the divine is seeking this person to surrender some sort of fear or doubt in it. And it's just so they can move closer to what it is that they want. The divine's only helping them. So this is what I feel that's happening and it's showing up on their side. Okay. And, and you, you know, it, when it's so funny because when you get, you know, drop within the heart and that's just, uh, really just again some sort of gem that that's happening and coming into play um yeah you get some sort of uh i don't know it's like uh the divine wants you to offer you know any sort of trouble that you might have you know it's like the divine wants you to place your hands in your heart and reflect upon that and know that you'll be graced with the gift from the divine so that's that gift that gem that's coming through i feel you're both are getting some sort of down look at look at how these cards are similar they got this on the side. You got this on your side. You both are getting messages from the divine. You're being blessed in some way. You see how this divine time is kind of plain? Like it's synchronicity is kind of coming through. I'm seeing it here. Let's let's take a look and let's continue on your side here, Capricorn. Let's take a look. Uh, any other messages for you um, as it pertains to love in the first uh, half of February 2022? Ace of Swords power victory and clarity so it could be one of these messages coming through it's really going to help you all right jim and i leave our aquarius energy okay and uh, three of swords after some sort of heartbreak of some sort and a new moon the new moon shoot was yesterday uh just happened in uh aquarius uh on the first of february so um you know keep that in mind this could be you've probably got reverberations from that so uh this is saying is that you probably have reached perhaps um, uh, Capricorn some sort of clarity or are kind of getting it at this particular time regarding heartbreak. Um, the, you know, the new moon in Aquarius uh, this month for February is on the 1st of February and the full moon is on the 16th in Leo. Um, but that is what is coming through. Wow. So a new moon, new intentions are being put out there after heartbreak and you're receiving some sort of clarity. You've got some sort of clarity that came through. What does numerology have to say? So you got some sort of clarity after heartbreak and you're putting out new intentions. It looks like physical activity. You know, it's going to kind of bring forth a lot of endorphins and it's going to clear your body and your aura and on, on a cellular level, it's really going to help you a lot. So it's saying to get out and get some physical activity is going to be really key for you. Make the effort. You have confidence, make the effort is what this talks about. Make the effort on what it is that you want uh, to see happen. This, the 13 reduces to a four and that brings forth stability. When you make the effort, it brings forth some sort of stability here. Okay. What did the wellness cards say? say affirmations manifesting happens in the present tense so it does want you to really talk about the present tense on what you want to be not what you uh don't want to be so really focus on what it is like you know uh, i am uh you know i am uh in the relationship um, i am in a, um, i'm fostering uh, a relationship uh, a long-term relationship in my life or i am fostering the love of my life with passion and joy uh, you know, whatever this is that you want to bring forth is coming through here. Okay. It has to be believable to you. So make it believable for you. But that's what I get. Anything from Love Oracle? Let's take a look at anything else. Interesting. 
Very interesting. What do we get? Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got fire and ice. Okay, it's almost like two opposites come together here. Okay, um, interesting. So fire and, and ice, and I kind of get the blue here is the communication. And um, wow. I don't know if there feels like there's some sort of conflict that are with, that's within you. Now, it could have to do with a relationship, but I get fire and ice. And I feel that whatever conflict that is within you, this is saying is that you're going to be able to get the answer. Okay? So I feel that uh, this is a sign. It's just a sign of spiritual growth that when you kind of feel fire and ice is kind of moving through you. Um, you know, it's, it's like, uh, you're going to go grow larger than the conflict. Uh, but for now you just, you need to just engage in it is, it, is just, uh, don't, you don't have to confront anything, but what you do need to do is to be present and allow it to work through you kind of like fire and ice inside. So let it kind of run its blizzard, like this storm within is what this talks about. Um, you're strong enough that you're going to be able to outgrow this conflict and be able to know and have some sort of clear direction on what the next steps to take. This is interesting, guys. So give yourself a chance to really realize, uh, you know, the situation at hand. Have patience, um, you know, and know that there's a change. Okay. If you if you need guidance on a relationship, hmm, it's a 37 card reducing to a 10. It wants you to wait. Don't don't push anything too hard. Okay. It wants you to wait. Let things unfold. Okay. Uh, you know you don't want to push and pull. It's about time to wait. Okay. There's more that needs to be revealed. Okay. You can kind of see something that's going to be revealed. The light coming through. There's more that needs to be revealed. It's there's still more in the shadows here. And only when like your heart can really uh, speak clearly, then you can act on what feels right for you. Until then, you don't need to do anything. This is just a reminder, okay? This is what's happening. Wow. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side. What is coming through for them? Uh, three of moons, so the three of cups. Uh, and then I got the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be doing with an air sign, okay? Um, but she's very, you know, perceptive. She is very, uh, you know, intellectual, very clear, clear thinking, quick thinker, really, really on her toes. And then I get the three of moons. Uh, excuse, yeah, the three of moons, which in this deck is the three of cups. And this is about friendship and community. It might have to do with someone that's around you, a friend of some sort. Um, and it might have to do, you know, uh, but this person, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting like for them more information from them. It's like, um, Huh. Yeah, it's like the three of moons, friendship and community. Um, give me one more card. Tell me a little bit more about this. Two of wands. This is about making progress uh, and making a discovery. So this person might be making some sort of discovery about the situation or about the connection here. Give me um, uh, numerology. Let's take a look at what wants to come through for them. Anything else? Surrendering. They're like surrendering to the situation. A 91 car reducing to a 10. It's an ending with a brand new beginning. Like they're surrendering to the situation. Wow. Interesting, guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of like they're just on the... On, it's surrendered to source. They're surrendering to source. Uh, the sacral chakra is the orange, okay? And this is about, you know, letting... Um, yeah... Don't ha not having an attachment to a particular outcome. Just let the divine work it through. And, and uh, the more they, they struggle, the more they're going to push the, you away is what I feel here. They need to surrender. You might be feeling that Capricorn, you know. Uh, so they're being encouraged, uh, you know, at this particular time to kind of detach from the situation is what I feel here. And just really focus on the source, which is the crown chakra. That's what that talks about. So, uh, and surrender to the outcome to the divine and know that everything's going to unfold as it should. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not this person's job to make something happen. They have to allow it. They have to allow it. That's what I feel that's happening here. They need to be able to surrender. So I think that's what this person is doing. They're allowing things to happen and highest expression. They're fulfilling their life's purpose. It could be this person's really focused on their life purpose at this moment, um, is what I feel here. 
and, and they know their worth now, they're understanding their worth and they get it and they're co-creating with the universe in the highest expression. And then bottom line, what is uh, the uh, another oracle that wants to come out for this person? What do we get? Ah, what is this card? Shatki. Uh, no, Shaki. Shakti? Yeah, Shakti. Okay. It's a 19 card that reduces to a 10. And this is all about uh, an ending with a brand new beginning. I got to tell you, this reminds me of the sacral chakra. Okay. Uh, they're going through a shift in their life. I will tell you guys, they're going through a major energetic shift in this person's life. Okay. Um, you know, you are too. So it's kind of like you both came together to shift each other. I'm going to tell you here. Um, and, and this is the, the energy in the body has begun to merge with, you know, the shifts in the physical body, like the spiritual and physical are, are kind of coming together here. Um, and, uh, there's an energetic awakening. Whoa. Hmm. They need to just tend to their physical well-being right now. That's going to be really key and get out in nature and really nurture themselves is going to be very, very helpful. Okay. Um, this is like feminine fire, you know, this is feminine fire that's happening here and they're going through a major change. Okay. Major shift in their life. Wow, guys, there's lots of change that is happening here. So very, very interesting. I'm not going to do an extended on this one, guys. Um, so what I will do is uh, pull a, um, uh, I'm going to pull a, uh, an, a card here to see what we want to come through. Let's take a look. Let me just pull this here. Let's take a look. What is the advice for on your side, Capricorn, in terms of this situation? What is the adv best advice for you here? What do we got? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That is what I'm getting on this, on your side. This other person's side, what do I get? What do we get? Acceptance is key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that of which is beyond our control. That's good confirmation, guys good confirmation. So it looks like, you know, in terms of the situation, it's like, you know, really kind of uh, new possibilities. It looks like, I don't know, I'm thinking that you guys have, have gone some separate ways and just allowing things to unfold. And maybe that you've came together for some sort of lesson or experience here. Okay. Whatever the case may be, note your comments below guys. I am um, now is it can be that, uh, you know, again, after this shift, but right now there is a major shift taking place in both of you. All right. I'm sending you lots of love and light until next time. Namaste.